Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome to another edition of Lynette's Beauty Box. So today is the much awaited video. We have a guest today, Marty. He's agreed, some reluctantly I might say. If um, you've been following the channel for a minute, you will know that Marty and I did a small video about an upcoming video. And he agreed, and I have this on video of him saying, if I get 16 subscribers on this channel, he agrees to let me do a full face of makeup on him. I'm amnesia. You what? I'm amnesia. Oh, he has amnesia, folks. Tell me, ladies, is this a man thing? I think it's my man thing. Okay, so I picked out some really good stuff today. I'm going to use a little bit of, I'm going to use some Alomar Cosmetics. I'm going to use a foundation shade that I borrowed from one of my girlfriends because obviously Marty and I are not the same shade. I'm pale, pasty white as a ghost, and he is a little bit more tan as he is part Cherokee. Now, we will be doing the whole Shabille. We're going to do foundation, we're going to do primer, mascara, eyeliner, we're going to do a lip. <laughs> So let's get started. Yeah. You look like a porcupine. <laughs> there you. You didn't know that you were going to get a close up shot, did you? Okay. So the first thing we start off with is primer. Okay. Now, do you know what primer is? No. Okay. What primer does is smooths the skin so that the makeup sticks to your face so it's a smooth application and your makeup lasts longer and it sticks to your face a paint no not like paint all right so i'm going to be using two primers today and the first primer, the main primer I'm going to be using is called, I want you to tell them what this is. Can you see what this is called? Sparkle. <laughs> no. We have Laura Geller and her Spackle Mattifying Oil um, Control Under Makeup Primer. I have enough oil. No, it's going to control the oil. This is a mattifying primer, so it, you won't have like a sheen on your skin or a dewy look or a plump, juicy look on the skin. It'll be more matte, so it tones down the shine since you do have an oily complexion. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And this is called Spackle. Can you take off your glasses, sir? Oh, now I can't see. Well, that's just fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's just like if I was putting on moisturizer on you. What are you putting it on my lip for? Maybe I think you need to be have speckle on your lip. Did you moisturize after I told you to wash your face? No. Why not? You don't know? I told you, you always have to moisturize. 
I've been trying to beat it into his head for years. Moisturize your face. I even bought him special stuff to wash his face that wasn't as he called it. It's for women. No, it's for men. It's made by Jack Black. It's very good stuff. And we tried him on the birch box. I like it. He liked it. It, it helped him find products that he liked, but we don't do it anymore. Because he I found did. his. Huh? No, I was talking about the subscription service. Oh, no. no, he doesn't do it anymore because he found his core group of products. Now, the next thing I'm going to use is just kind of here is on is called Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. I'm just going to use a little bit. Why? Got to hide out my cheekbones? Yep, it goes under your makeup. Oh my gosh, babe, it's not that bad. You, you act like I'm killing you or something. I didn't touch your eyes yet. You gotta look at the people. You can talk to the people. Touch my eye. Oh, I touched your eyes. Y'all don't like my eyes touched. All right, the next thing product that we're gonna go in with is foundation, and this is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. It's long wear high pigment foundation. We, we shall see. We shall see. I we're did. Well, it ain't gonna be long wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be long wear, huh? <laughs> what? Don't get your hair first. We're about to die now. <laughs> Seriously? What? Don't scrunch your face! Yellow. It just looks yellow. He's just um, freshly shaved for this video. And he informed me that the makeup will not be on him for very long. I kind of wanted him to have a wear test with it. Mm-mm. I mean, babe, you gotta keep your head down here. I was helping. Can you not scrunch your face? That is the ugliest face <laughs> ever. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> what? I ain't scrunching. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord, give me strength. Okay, so I think you're blended pretty good. We need to bring some down your neck. I'm so yellow. 
You are not yellow. I look yellow. No, you don't. What? Look yellow. No, you don't. What are you putting it on my neck for? I'm giving you the hiccups. What? I said I feel like when I'm giving the hiccups. When you talk, Kathy. No, I was talking to you. Why do you think I'm giving you the hiccups? I feel like I'm getting the hiccups. Why? I don't know. I feel like I'm coming on. I don't know. Just remember, you agreed to this. You don't want to have a line of demarcation. That's the worst thing. A what? A line of demarcation. I don't know what that is. Well, that's when, if you ever seen the, um, like, women, and they have the mask line here, it looks like their face is like one color, and their neck and the rest of their body are a different color. I never pay attention. It must be just us girls. All right. Oh, and I, um... The sponge I was using was the Handy Real Technique sponge. Dirty now. Yes, but... Oh, Ooh. whoops! <laughs> Broke it now. Probably. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, this is what I regret. What's that? Eye stuff. Eye stuff, yes. We call it eyeshadow in the makeup world. So the palettes we're going to be using for his eye look today are the Alomar Cosmetics palettes. We have Rina del Caribe. Happy Duty War Pine. And uh, I'm probably butchering that name, but volume one and two. Okay. You know Lord what? I now. almost forgot. We need eye primer. Oh no. Yes, you have to prime your eyes. It's a necessity. Why wow, they're running good. Close your eyes. Now, don't squeeze your eyes shut like that. It's just like lotion. I don't put lotion on my eyes. Stop squeezing your eyes tight like that. I can't work like this. I can't work like this, people! Okay. Let's get started. You know, you need something. You get the yellow off of me. You do not have yellow on you. It yellow. It might look yellow to you, but to everyone else it does not. So while the, um, that is drying down, you know what? I need to go get something that I forgot to get. So, why don't you go ahead and, and look at these um, these palettes and tell me what you're thinking about the color. Turn that thing off. What? Turn that thing off. What? The camera thing. No. I can't yeah. even help with these stupid things. There you go. Like I can really see them blind. You're not that blind. <laughs> you see something that interests you? No, it's amazing. I can see. Okay. He's looking at the volume one. Okay. Well, he's. He's looking at volume one and uh, well, and volume two now. 
And while he's doing that, I'm going to find a brow pencil to do his eyebrows. Here's a two line. Huh? Here's a two line. Oh, no, they're not. Mine aren't two line. I have some pretty good. So, do, have you decided on a color that you would like me to do? Mm. No? Is there a color you don't want me to do? I want pink. You don't want pink? No. Okay. The, the flamingo is out. The flamingo is out? Yeah. Huh? I didn't say anything. You did too. What did I say? I don't know. You mumbled it. I didn't mumble it. I just whispered it. That's what you wanted to do. I know. No. I said we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've looked long enough. You have an idea of what you, what colors that you like? Because I can work with anything. I, I kind of like that. Ooh. The color that he was pointing to is Celia. We could definitely do something there. Oh yeah. The Barredero. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's do some brows. First of all, we need to sweep up your brows. You have nice brow hairs. I wish I had brow hairs. Yeah, oh, I already. I don't know if I've ever shared the story of how I lost my brows. Well, it's a tragic story, really. You know, before I had to stop working, um, I worked in a nursing facility. And, uh, here in Springfield, Missouri. And I smoked at the time. Don't smoke anymore. It's bad for you. Don't do it. And then um, I rode with a girl, a friend of mine that I worked with. And she was like, hey, Lynette, there's a lighter on the ground. And I always carried a Zippo. And I was like, I don't need it, but I picked it up anyway. Got home, was kicking back, relaxing. I usually took off my glasses and washed my face and everything, but I decided to have a smoke first. And when I lit and used that lighter, It really just flamed up and exploded in my face. Burnt off my eyebrows, my eyelashes. It probably would have damaged my eyes had it not been for my glasses, which melted the frame a little bit. And um, so, you know, you really need to tweeze your brows or something. Mm -hmm. You're kind of looking like Groucho Marx there. Well, men don't tweet. Well, I could wax them. Well, I think not. There's nothing wrong with waxing your brows. Lots of men do it. Lots of straight men, gay men, all kinds of men. Doesn't make you. Why? I don't know. Why not? There's nothing wrong with my brows. They're unruly. 
and they're everywhere. That one looks good. So is my so is my mustache. I went a little bit too well your brows by the way are sisters not twins so you know it's true hmm? it's true I'm sorry, I got one brow too high. Hand me that bioderma. Okay. We can fix this. Not a problem. Where is my... Oh crap, I screwed up and now I need to fix my brows brush. Aha! Right here. I'm using bioderma. That is a little cloudy, but it'll work. You know, it would be easier if you'd stop leaning back like that. Part of the problem is your brows are like all over the place. They're crazy. That's why it's easier to just dry them on. Okay. Next. So. You're enjoying this too much. I'm enjoying it too much. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. If you're wondering what I'm playing with, nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> These brushes are from Sephora's Magnetic Brush Line. I bought them because I was going to do a video on them because I thought it was very gimmicky. And I still think they're very gimmicky, but I want to get the whole set first and I have four I think there's two more brushes that um, come in this collection maybe I might be able to do the the, the um, brush collection before they you know stop making them I don't know but I just bought these in like February but as we all know, in the beauty world, that is a lifetime ago since they come out with new stuff every, like, every week. So I'm going to use Coco Taxi and In the Crease as a transition shade. I don't want that one real down. You got to use a transition shade first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you close your eyes, actually open your eyes. Are you going to blink every time I move my windshield wiper motion? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, as long as we're on the same page. Okay, next one.
So what are your thoughts so far? What are your thoughts so far, my dear? Why do I have to leave my eye open? <laughs> you jabbed your finger into my eyeshadow. He oh, well. jabbed his finger into the eyeshadow. Oh, my eyes are burning. Oh, my God. It's it all in your head. No, they're burning. No, they're not. You can't touch them. Yeah. I told him we were going to film this in segments because, um, for one thing, my husband has PTSD. He's a retired military man, and I love him. But sometimes he doesn't deal with things in, let's, shall we say, appropriate manners? Okay. I am going in with Capacito to darken his crease but because he has no eyelids it kind of looks like I'm just smearing brown crap on them okay but well you're doing better than I thought you were gonna do Okay, let's take a look. Now, it is tearing up a little bit. Luckily, I have a washcloth for just this occasion. Close. The last thing we want to do is ruin your makeup. Unless we have to start all over was that that was like go to hell I'm gonna kill you in your sleep looks so ladies if I don't post a next video next Sunday you might want to send out the police I might be dead I'm going to pull from the Volume 2 palette, and I think, let's see what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to take some of this Tombow shade. Why are you not showing me? Tombow. Combo. Yeah. We're going to just focus it on your outer. Well, let's just go over the entire lid with this. It's very metallic. You're looking pretty. And just to let you know, I picked out the perfect color of eyeshadow and to, or lip gloss to go with your shadow. Okay, so he liked these two shades here. So we've already done like a brown, a darker brown. He freaks out when I touch his eye. So we've already done a darker brown on the eye. Lay that down with a little bit of gold on the lid. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a more targeted brush. I need to get a little bit smaller just for the fact that he has such small eyelids. Hey, guess what we're going to do later? Wow. Wash all my 150 brushes. Are you excited? You are. I'm excited? No, you are. 
when you're washing. So I'm going to wash the 150 brushes. What are you going to do while I'm doing that? Get the shower. Get all this stuff off my face. Oh, it's not stuff. You're right. I'm just enhancing your natural beauty. Okay. I have a question for you ladies. <laughs> well, not just you ladies. Guys too. Because I do have some men that subscribe to my channel. Let me pose this question to you. Has a woman looking like this ever been like, let me go fight a war all glammed up. Um, I'm in the army. I better put on my makeup before I go to PT. No, never. Close. Why do you keep on moving further away from me? Ooh. Mama so pretty. I forgot just how pretty the shade is. I'm taking this, um, Celia shade and I'm putting it all over his lid. Close please. I'm putting it over the Tombow which is giving it like a foiled um, like duochrome look. really like it. Okay, open your eyes. Now go ahead and look. Look in the camera. Why do you keep moving farther away from me? I'm on a hill. You might be on a hill, but the hill points down, not that way. There's an angle. Okay, let me take a look at you. It's gorgeous. I forgot how much I loved the shade. I got this palette in a boxy charm last year, I think, last summer. And I was so excited about her brand. Um, that I just could not wait till she released more. So as soon as I found out that she released a volume to you, I was like all over that stuff like white on rice. Like white rice? White on rice. She say stuff like that on YouTube. That could be misconstrued as I don't know what what do you call it? Um, racist? You never know who's watching these videos. And we do not wish to offend anyone. We just... There's so much drama right now in the makeup community. But I will never speak on it because I am not about drama. I'm not about spilling the tea, what have you. Okay, open for me. Wow, there is so much kick up. There's like right down the side of your nose. Here, turn your head. Can you all see that? <laughs> okay, so now is the time that I'm going to use some setting spray. I'm going to use some Fix Plus to um, foil this out to make it really metallic -y foiled. What do you think about that? You want to spray on my face? 
Now I'm going to spray the brush with Fix Plus. I had to go on a little search mission to find the um, my Fix Plus from MAC. It's a MAC Prep Plus Prime. You can't see the wording because the light sucks. Okay, I'm just going to spray my brush with some good old Fix Plus and dip into the shadow. Wet it. Wet another brush. With the Fix Plus, we're going to dip into Veradero. This brush is from Royal and Lang Nicholas, the Moda Prep. Pro brush, the line brush, and BMX 498. Okay. And again, lean in. There you go. You know, Mark kiss me because I'm doing his makeup. I might mess it up. Then. Okay, you can open your eyes. Okay. Now we want to try and dust that out a little bit. This is a pretty intense color. Oh, that's a good idea. I have like some of the most I amazing ideas in my head. Sometimes they don't work out, but sometimes they do. I'm taking Mambo, I'll show you right here. Top excess. We're just gonna 
use it to actually insert some polish. Well, the good thing is that you're so dark, you're so dark that it doesn't show up really pigmented on you. bright look so you're doing good by the way anytime you need to stop and just take a break for any reason just let me know you know you really need to exfoliate Okay. So <clears throat> how are you feeling so far? Pretty good. Pretty good? Good. What do you think of your eyes so far? And it's better through yours. Oh, that's so sweet. It's not going to get you out of this, though. <laughs> okay, we just had to take a small break because I forgot to bring over all the products that I needed. <clears throat> and I just got a message from my dad about making out a will. So we can make sure I get the rest of my mom's stuff. But I don't want to talk about that right now because I'll get depressed and I don't want to get depressed. And, you know, just to let you know what kind of products that we're going to be using to finish up the look, I'm going to be using the ColourPop, which we all know I love ColourPop. Um, I think some of their products are look, getting, product names are getting a little racy, um, but I still love it. This is their Glitter Pop Peel Off Liner in the shade I think it's Lucky Bitch, but I'm not sure. I will be um, stopping saying um all the time. No, <laughs> I will be putting all the products, listing all the products that I used in the description, just in case any of you all are interested in those products. Okay, so you know what? I don't think it's Lucky Bench. I think it's something else. Maybe DJ something. You know what? I'm going to check it real quick because that's going to drive me bonkers. Okay, so I knew it was going to drive me crazy if I didn't check to see the name of the shade of this. And it was not Lucky Bitch. It was Hey Mr. DJ. This shade is a gold glitter with a black base. And Lucky Bitch is 100% all gold, I think, with a clear base. So, I was going to buy that one at first, but then I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I like that one too. Can't buy them all at once. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. It's eyeliner. Come on. You're going to like it. Look, you gave me like, oh! Okay, close your eyes, baby.
got a little tiny brush applicator tip. I find that the easiest way to use this product is if you put an eyeliner, use a, a felt tip eyeliner underneath and then put this on top, or else you really have to build up the color with a couple of coats. I really, I really do like this. Especially since I struggle so much with eyeliner application. You know, when I was much younger, because I'm 47, and when I was much younger, I could like, you know, put on my eyeliner with that big, thick, thick line that was so popular in the 80s and 90s in my sleep. But because of some of my medications that I take, I have a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of a tremor every once in a while, especially when my diabetes, when my blood sugar gets low, it starts getting low, I start to, you know, really, really shake it up. Like I'm making a shake or something. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put mascara on you. The mascara I'm going to be using is one that I personally can't stand. And that is just because I don't really understand it. It is um, by Pixie by Petra. I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus one month. And it's Laugh Lash Lift 2088. And this is the one that it's a double wand. The very top, you unscrew it, it has this little tiny, tiny brush. And then put that back in and then it's got the bigger one. I like the one that has the more the fluffy bristles on it, like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm also looking forward to purchasing the um, Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. Yeah, that's what it's called. Damn Girl! And it, it's supposed to be really good. The only thing I don't like about my Better Than Sex Mascara is it kind of flakes after I've worn a while underneath my eyes. But it's pretty good. Okay, time for mascara, my dear. <coughs> Thank you for that. Okay. No, no, no. You have to have your eyes open. Okay, blink. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, do it again. Blink, 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 blink. Close your eyes. Pretty. And then I'm going to use this tiny one on the bottom to do your lower lashes. You would made of such a beautiful girl. Didn't you once dress up like a girl and walk to town in heels when you were? Yeah. A dare. It was a dare. Well, you made a dare.
to do anything for money. Did you do anything for money? No, well, younger. I wouldn't say anything. Oh, no. I mean, that's kind of loaded, but. For 10 reasons. Okay, now, the next thing, we're going to do a little contour. I am not the queen of contour people, but... I ain't either. <laughs> You're not the queen of contour? Or the king. Or the king. Okay. But the one I'm using is the Coco contour. Not the new one, the old one. No, it's not like Coco. Go like this. Actually, I had to do that wrong. I watched a video. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I watched a video of this makeup artist that's really famous um, to the stars. I don't know. What, I can't remember. Scott, Scott Barnes. And he was doing a, like, um, kind of like, it wasn't like a club or anything, but it was on Tati. And he was saying how she was doing her um, contour wrong because she was going down here and going. When you're actually supposed to contour here and it should um, like curve back up here. Either. Oh shit. Oops, sorry. Yellow. <laughs> Yellow. So you can use contour to contour. Get rid of the yellow? No. To no, I can't blend it into your hairline. What hairline? You have a hairline, it's just way back there <laughs> and this is the coco contour i was referring to the original and it don't it, smell like yes it. it does it smells like cocoa powder it's infused with cocoa powder you know this was really expensive it was like 44 dollars, and i did not pay that because i'm a sephora rouge member and I had enough points. What brush do I need? One more bristles. I had enough points that this year they. I went a little crazy there. This year they. Um, I didn't mean to yell, y'all. They um, changed their um, rewards so that. this out if you get enough points you can trade them in for a hundred dollar gift card and because I was very spendy at Sephora in February, January, January February and March I was able to build up enough points to become a Rouge member then I was able to build up enough points to where I could do uh, I could trade them in for that gift card and I was like yeah so I bought like products that I couldn't normally afford like spending $38 on a lip product because I mean I couldn't afford that normally but with that card that basically was like you go girl you know you spend enough money you want to get your whatever on so I did um, the next product that we have is by Tarte, and that is Tarte's Pro Glow Volume 3. This is the one I got in my Boxy Lexus month, and although I love the formula and it's fabulous, don't get me wrong, no shade there, but this is not the exact palette I wanted. So, because 
the colors are nice and for a normal person who is light complected they're perfect but for this woman who likes a strong blush game they're good but I was hoping for darker colors because when BoxyCharm messed up with the Cover FX palette and I got the dark shade I was like I really wanted the light one too but it's kind of expensive so the man was like can't you just use the one you got and I was like yes yes I can you look like you're so pissed off right now looking in the screen it's those eyebrows man they're like crazy oh that was sexy hold on now you know we're, we got a PG-13 it. That's why I'm so proud of you for not opening up your mouth and swears coming out. Okay, so let's bronze you up. Where is my bronze brush? My desk, people, is such a mess right now. It looks like... <laughs> it looks like Sephora <laughs> like had a stomach bug and puked all over my desk seriously looks like they puked makeup all over my desk Sephora Ulta who has a great rewards program as well I really like that one so let's see unfortunately we've lost the light and stop running away from me don't run away from me babe okay so We've got these two bronzers, so we're going to go in with this one. I like that bronzer. Tap, tap. let you know where a bronzer would go it's going to go at the highlights of your face where the sun would naturally hit it so on the bridge of your nose the tip of your chin the tips of your cheeks here and your temples and we're going in with a So, so vampires don't wear bronzer now. Well, you know. They don't wear daylight. Well, no, but this is makeup. I mean, I would imagine a vampire would probably wear some bronzer so they didn't look so pasty white. Well, vampires are white, pasty looking. Well, yes. Unless so they don't wear bronzer. Well, no, if they're that pasty, I would imagine, no, they don't wear bronzer. All right, now let's find some blush for you. Yeah. You had an itch? Okay. So, I used both of these bronzers on him. Um, I used this one first and then this one here. This one's more matte. This one has more of like a, a sheen to it. I wouldn't say it has, it looks like it may have a little tiny bit of glitter. That's a lip pencil ish thing. Okay, so get some blush on your cheeks. Some apples on your cheeks. I ain't got no apples. Everyone has apples on their cheeks, honey. Mm -hmm. You got pears. So what, we're going to call it the pair of your cheek? Yeah. Now before I did this tutorial, he made me talk, he's like, you're going to make me look stupid. 
And I'm like, no, I'm not going to make you look stupid at all. He, you know what blush is, right? Blush? Yes, what's blush? The stuff you put on your cheeks. And why do you put it on your cheeks? make them look red <laughs> no see I put blush on my cheeks so I won't look like a corpse what about Santa Claus Santa Claus you got little red cheeks yes and a red nose it's probably because it's cold where Santa Claus lives Okay, so we have this beautiful look here. Now, what does it still need? It needs some highlighter. This product is something Marty picked out for me. I got some of these glitter drops from in my BoxyCharm and I loved it so much that I went to Ulta and bought all of them. There's only four and they're $44 a piece, but Ulta was having a sale on these and they were half price. So I saved a good little chunk. So what we're going to do is norm, you can do it a lot of different ways. You can put, um, But the way I use it is I just dab it on the cheek. You don't need a whole lot because this stuff is powerful. And it's got like an oil base to it. I don't know what's up with that. but So you can do it a couple of different ways. You can do it by tapping it or you can use a beauty blender. But... <laughs> you look like you've been then you'd be saying you are crying glitter tears mm -hmm. Marty's favorite color is blue by the way I just like to blend it down underneath my finger take a look. Ooh. Your glitter game is strong. His glitter game is strong, people. All right. The last couple of steps. Here we go. This is Trustique, and I'm not going to use the lip glaze on him. I'm just going to use the lip primer that's in the bottom. So, because of the way he always licks his lips and sucks them in, you know what this. funny. Oh, that's good. Go look at it. Yeah. Like that. You know when I shave you? I have you. Yeah. There you go. Really wish you would have trimmed your mustache. Oh, that makes me think. You know what I can do? You know, I can't, I don't, you, why are you moving away from me? Like, oh no, she's got another crazy idea. I'm going to do with that. Okay, so I love this. This is one of my Holy Grail products, this 
um, Smashbox Brow Tech to go. And one of the reasons I love it is because of the contoured tip. And for someone who wasn't skilled at um, drawing my eyebrows on, unless you wanted a thin little tiny line, which really ages you. They also, on the other side of it, they have a little wand with brow gel on it. And obviously it never gets used because I have no brow hairs. So we're gonna, come closer. Come, yeah. Okay, let me just brush some of this on your brow gel and see if this on your mustache, see if we can't get some of these unruly mustache hair stuff. Hey, in the comments down below, comment and tell me if, um, if your husband has a mustache and if he, what he uses to keep the, um, the mustache hairs from looking like they're all crazy. Man, I should have really trimmed you up and stuff before this video. But too late now. Can't go back. All right. So what I'm going to use on his lips is also from Too Faced. I see. Just chill. You're a pickle. Where'd it go? Take me just a minute to locate my lip liner. heaven's sake okay lip liner where you be I will be right back well, 25 minutes. on this clip <laughs> okay so I have this lip liner I didn't find the one I was wanting to use the one I was wanting to use was from the um, Too Faced um, collab with Erica Jane, the real housewife of Slutty Beverly Hills. Actually, I call her the Slutty Housewife of Beverly Hills. But maybe I shouldn't say things like that. I mean, she's married. It's just her persona. Anyway, I digress. So I couldn't find that one. And he was very adamant that he did not want pink. And that one was a pink fuchsia color. So, change of plans. All right, I'm going to be using um, a lip liner by Vintage by Jessica Liebskind. It's the Cashmere Lip Pencil in Mocha. Okay, ready? Yeah. Line the lips and then fill them in with the mocha. Lip pencil, which is a little bit dry. Okay. Upper lip, please. You gotta open your mouth back up. After this video, we gotta talk about the underneath of your tongue. It's bruised. 
Okay, now. This. It will not come out as pink because I we're putting it over top of that lip liner. This is from Too Faced. It's their Lip Injection Extreme. It's in the in painkiller pink. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> All right. You might feel a little tingle. Feel a tingle. Okay. okay. Tastes like crap. <laughs> Tastes like crap. Is that what you said? Yeah. All right. The last step in this fun. I do my husband's makeup tag. We keep scooting off screen. I'm not scooting off screen. She's pushing me. I'm pushing him. Yeah. Okay. What I'm using is from Skin & Co. It's the Truffle Therapy. Their Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresher Mist. I got this in my boxy lux this month and it retails for like 35 bucks for a setting spray. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Close your eyes. Really? <laughs> hey. You ain't join the spray too much. Hey, it's fun for me. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's a tradition. Did you know it was a tradition? Because my biological father let my mom do it to him. And there were pictures. And then he put on a bath skirt. When my mom was an Avon representative back in the day, they had like these huge kits. Full spiel. Yep. Okay. So, how do you feel? You can see that. What? Yeah. This? Yeah. It's going to take this right here to get all that stuff off my face. What's that? A grinder. <laughs> The grinder that I use to grind my nails. Yeah, it's gonna take that. It's gonna take that much just to get it up off my eyes. No. Yeah. I have a magic potion. Oh. It's called makeup remover. Oh. Hammer and chisel. Hammer and chisel. <laughs> I'm serious. How do you feel? Do you feel pretty? No. Can you be my new girlfriend? No, I'm a funny looking girl. Well, maybe if you had some hair. <laughs> I've had that in years. That's true. But we've been married for a long time. It's her, it's her fault. It's, oh yeah, it's always my fault. Everything. It's her fault. Well, I have to say that, you know, the eyebrows are freaking me out. I didn't have a lighter color. Oh, yeah, I did. But still, they're freaking me out. I think I'm going to try to convince him to get his eyes shaped, his eyebrows shaped, because, oh. What you got there? I used to look like that. Sure.
God, that was a long time ago. It was, it was. 20 years ago. Well, I thank you for everybody who made this video possible. <sighs> really. I really appreciate y'all sticking through to the end. I know this is an incredibly long video, but it was a lot of fun. And I think we both had fun. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like this video. We'd appreciate your you subscribing if you haven't already. And there's still time left to enter our giveaway. The giveaway closes June 25th. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to the giveaway video and it has all the instructions in that video. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye. Your eyebrows are twins, not, or not twins. <laughs> your eyebrows are. What if you hit record again? Your eyebrows are. <laughs> <laughs> your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Or in your case, brothers. I like you know the screen is good. <laughs> what? What's wrong? You want me to stop recording? Oh, but why? Why, pretty girl, why?